Good morning, everybody. Linda here with a serene and simple life. At least it's a, a mindset and something I work at, even if I don't always live it. I am at, headed over to my property. This will be a day two cleanup. But today I'm supposed to have some help with me. Um, my neighbor Janet said she might bring a couple ladies or people with her. I don't know, ladies or men. And also, um, she knows of someone who is a good worker and is reasonable. And he's going to also hopefully carry away branches and maybe, I don't know, saw a couple loose, um, limbs down or you know things that should come down with the trees i'm not sure um, i'm just very grateful and right now i am at whataburger i got a cinnamon roll never had these before and did you know that whataburger gives you a free coffee if you're a senior yeah cheers cheers to whataburger so, I feel a little guilty right now with this bunny trail. I am trying so hard to start paying attention to labels. And you'll be seeing, um, or actually I just did a couple videos of, of, of food hauls and trying to eliminate the bioengineered ingredients, the um, bad oils, the seed oils, like um, canola, vegetable, soybean. I remember those from CVS. <laughs> Maybe they want to change their name. And I'm trying to eliminate sugar. I don't know, anything in moderation. I know people go their whole life, they live till they're 80 years old, which I'd be happy with. <laughs> and they eat what they want um, in moderation. So, I don't know, put in the comments. <sighs> Does moderation um, help you on the back end, you know? I guess you just never know, right? You just never know. Some people say, just, you know, eat what you want, enjoy life, you only go around once. But on the other hand, that doesn't normally come from older people, like people over 60. You know, you start to feel these things that you're like, wow, if I changed my diet, maybe I would feel better. And Janet brought to my attention something, or not to my attention, but she mentioned something that I thought was pretty powerful. She just got a knee replacement a couple few months back. And now she's going to the gym and she's losing weight, she's feeling better. And she said, how can I serve God if I'm not uh, feeling well? Wow. She's like, God gave me this knee replacement. Now I need to, you know, take care of my body and do what I need to do so that I can serve God. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm supposed to meet them over there between 9 and 10. I hope I beat them over there so I can start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the brush together, all the weeds. Uh, the pals that I made, you have to go back and watch the other video. And then I'm going to go around the property and pick up like pieces of wood that are only like maybe, I don't know, anywhere from six inches to two feet long and make a pile so that we can carry it across to uh, Janet's burn pile. Um, I think 90% of the trash has been picked up. And I didn't show you the full garbage can in the last video. I was so exhausted, beyond exhausted, that I was like, I just couldn't do any more videoing or look at any more grossness. So that last bag I showed you, I probably had at least 12 bags altogether. I said 10, I think it was more like 12, plus a lot of loose pieces, so, so totally gross. And I'm so glad that that's behind me. And I worked from 10 to seven yesterday and my body was fine except when I bent over. A couple times I had to put things underneath the cart 
and I had to actually ask a cashier one time and I think it was my knees and my um, my back was not hurting but my uh, top of my legs on the back side what muscle is that called um, I felt strain there and I think it had to do with my knees too all the bending over so I'm not sure today I touched my toes <laughs> not as easily as I normally do I try to be straight and be able to touch my toes which I can do um, and I do that daily as a little bit of a stretch but it wasn't as easy as usual so like I just said. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get to eating this cinnamon roll, which is absolutely no good for you. I'm sure it has all the bad oils in it. It has lots of sugar. I'm gonna try to not feel guilty about it. Um, and I do believe that it's gonna be, a, you know, I'm gonna work at this transition. And then once I get into my tiny home, I'm gonna say it, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I hope to maybe never buy another bag of potato chips um, or maybe once once a month. Um, I know they say when you just go cold turkey with stuff, I had to do that when I you know, stopped drinking. I didn't just start, okay, I'm only gonna have six today and then four next week and then two a month. No, I had to stop cold turkey. So this might be the same way, I'm not sure, but um, the last couple days and I've been watching a lot of videos um, Bobby approved do any of you watch him oh I forget the name of his it's something city his channel he's got like five million followers go Bobby and he does Aldi hauls and Costco hauls and somewhere else where he lives I think he has Whole Foods maybe he does I'm not sure but um, yeah, he talks all about the oils and all the bad stuff. And I'm telling you, it looks like you have to about triple your food bill in order to eat healthy. What do you guys think? Can can one single person eat healthy on less than 250 a month? Please put that in the comments as well. And go back and watch my food hauls. Um, they're prob I forget what I bought, but they're probably nowhere where I'm trying to get to as far as uh, eating healthy, I'm gonna start doing grass-fed uh, meat. I'm going to do um, wild-caught uh, fish, not, gra not um, farm-fed. He talks about that. Um, he talks about some snacks. I did buy some snacks the other day that are pretty good. Let me see, here's my little drawer almond flour, crackers, grain-free, gluten-free, like they were like $2.49, oh my gosh, for like 3.5 ounces, insanity. One thing I got going for me is I don't drink much soda, um, an orange or a root beer, I don't know, once every few months, and I do, I've drank ginger ale, but I haven't had ginger ale in probably three or four months now, so. I do carbonated water I don't anyways this that'll be um, I'll give you an update later on that right now I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do over at the land because I told you what we're gonna do pick up wood uh, I might do like um, the end you know when it's all cleaned up and and everything but I don't think these people are gonna want to be on video I don't know that for a fact and I might just you know, get busy working with my helpers and not be worrying about videoing. So, all right, hope you'll come Here along. Here at the property, guys. I just spoke to the gentleman who is going to do a lot of the work and he was here already this morning and he's coming back with his riding lawnmower. And he said, all the piles, he'll just be able to mow them up and you know, they will disintegrate into the land, which will be awesome. Um, I think he's here now, so we're going to get busy working. Oh, I don't know. Is that him? I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody just came by with a trailer. Maybe he's going to turn around. I don't know. Um, yep, there's some limbs hanging, and I also talked to Janet, and she's coming over, and I am a blessed woman. Yep, 
John's here. So we're going to get going and I'll show you the land in a little bit. Go back and watch the other video if you want to see how it looks for the before and right, after. Guys, here's a quick overview. Wasn't going to do this, but he ran across the street to talk to Janet. So here's the tractor and his bed and we've got all this stuff that I haven't pulled yet. See, we've got some low-lying limbs. He's not going to do any sawing of other limbs because that could be dangerous. He said just doing it on a ladder, you know. I may have to get tree service in here. Okay, so there we go. Stuff that's fallen down. And we just got piles everywhere. Here's the pieces of wood, you know. We'll be starting to pick up a lot of crap in the sticks and uh, there's a piece of plastic. So I guess it's 90% cleaned up as far as trash. And this will all be mowed down. And there we go. Hey guys, about two hours later, this was some kind of metal toolbox in the back of the property. <sighs> Janet's son and the good guy that she had come over with his trailer. Oh my gosh, I didn't think we would need an 18 foot. This has metal here in the front. And then we go all the way back with pieces of wood. I find out he had a porch here and a shed. And I don't know, without looking at the trailer, it's hard to see that there's any difference but I think all the nooks and crannies are getting cleaned out. There's still a lot of dead tree branches in the back here. That metal thing was way in the back up against the, where that boat is. That's on the other side of the property. Filled a trash bag. Everyone was so helpful. Janet brought her girlfriend and that was wonderful. And they worked here for, I don't know, a good hour. Uh, did a lot of raking with the leaves and picking up branches. And uh, Nicholas started digging up some of these bushes with the roots. And so we're just gonna leave a lot of this for another day. But he started in the front and dug up some good ones. And yeah, John did a lot with moving stuff around. Now he wants to take his tra uh, tractor or his lawn mower just where the house is gonna be, maybe just mow this down. I don't know, part of me was like, no, don't do it. And then part of me is like, okay, it's all gonna come back, you know? It's gonna come back in a couple months, but well, maybe not over the winter, of course. I don't know, tell me, can you see a difference? Picked up a lot of the stuff in the back. All my piles are gone. Just a lot of slaving. And here's from the back. And just so thankful that I don't have to pay a thousand dollars or more for this cleanup. All right, keep going here. I fell out of the toolbox and I've got the big bags now we filled one with sticks and stuff and that didn't work and so I'm just using this for trash now I'm gonna drag this around and pick up some more trash there's a bunch in the back over there that bags filled with leaves that came from around the one tree which is really nice to have cleaned up and then yeah more of my piles which I guess when they come in here to lay the foundation a lot of this will go away <laughs> we can only hope and Nicholas pulled down these branches I asked him but we couldn't quite snap them so I just need to die a little more die branches more trash just see the white there I mean, and there's a lot of mounds around here. They're just dirt. 
I come to find out they did have somebody in here to uh, just clean up the land. So this was basically dirt. There's more that I need to pick up. Lots more over here. And I'm going to get back to work now. Stuff fell out of the toolbox. And I've got the big bags now. We filled one with sticks and stuff, and that didn't work. And so I'm just using this for trash now. I'm going to drag this around and pick up some more trash. There's a bunch in the back over there. That bag's filled with leaves that came from around the one tree, which is really nice to have cleaned up. And then, yeah, more of my piles, which I guess when they come in here to lay the foundation, a lot of this will go away. <laughs> we can only hope. And Nicholas pulled down these branches, I asked him, but we couldn't quite snap them. So they just need to die a little more. Die branches. More trash, just see the white there. I mean, and there's a lot of mounds around here. They're just dirt. I come to find out they did have somebody in here to uh, just clean up the land. So this was basically dirt. There's more that I need to pick up. Lots more over here. And I'm gonna get back to work now. Hey guys. It's another hour of work. Mm -hmm. Keep adding, adding, adding to the trailer. Oh my gosh. But it's been really pushed down. John has it all strapped down. Uh, we just got tons more. And as you can see here, this the west side of the property here, you actually can see through like the trees now. I don't know, for some reason, because we cleared the outskirts pretty well, he knocked the tree down, and um, so now, I don't know, you can just see so much better. And over here, he took his running mower, his tractor mower, and just mowed stuff down where the house is going to be. I know it's all going to come back, but of course, they're going to be putting a foundation in, as I've mentioned many times, and so that's not going to matter. It's just that I can see the property better now. What do you guys think? I'm excited. And it's been about, I don't know, four hours of work here, nonstop. And I am pooped. Alrighty. Blessings in your day. And joy in the journey. One more thing. I think this is really looking good back here. <laughs> It was pretty scary. I know some of it has to do with the mowing that he did, but we did find more trash to pick up. And there is still some more here. Nice and shady back here. Woo, this is gonna be a perfect place for someone to park an RV, right? Yeah. Then we'll go up this way. Going to have a driveway that comes in up there and then kind of do it in a semicircle is what I'm thinking. But wow, just just cleared out everywhere. I don't know, it's just been so much work. And I really jumped the gun on having people come out and give me a price before they could really look and see, you know, what was what. Somebody said, I just need something now to smooth the ground out. And uh, oh, we got a bit of shade here. That's where the septic is gonna be. This is where we did all kinds of clearing and pulled that metal thing out. And there was plastic cans back there. Some were buried. I picked up a lot more glass. And once again, now that we're not in the sun, you can see the west side of the property. There's the south, the east over here. And back here where the telephone pole, I guess, is the north. Woo, we just got a blessing of shade. Later. Hey, two more things. Just when I thought I was done, I spent another hour. I wanted to walk the property. 
and oh my gosh. Glass that I pulled out, uh, all kinds of wires, another book, metal cans, this big plastic. I don't know what that is. More wires over here. Piece of metal down there. Okay, feeling better. But I think we're gonna have to go for round three another day. Later, later, alligator.